Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone ranking series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 30, The Long Morrow, written by Rod Serling and directed by Robert Flory. This is a season 5 episode and as always there will be spoilers. So, some Twilight Zone fans out there might be surprised that I have The Long Morrow at number 30 on the list. It seems like I might like this episode a little bit more than... Uh, a lot of fans. I've always liked this episode, but I gotta say it really hit me this time and the ending got to me more than almost any episode on my rewatch. So the plot is pretty basic and the episode is basically a tragic love story with some sci-fi mixed in, but I really loved this episode and Robert Lansing as Douglas Stansfield and Mariette Hartley as Sandra Horn give great performances in my opinion. So this one starts with a man, a commander named Douglas Stansfield, and he's an astronaut, and he's going on a trip to a planetary system. Now the system is far away, so the trip will keep Douglas in space for 40 years. So basically, to keep this man from losing 40 years of his life, he will be put in a state of suspended animation, so that when he comes back, he will only be a few weeks older. Now this sounds risky to me, especially in the Twilight Zone. So, as Douglas is preparing for this trip into space, he meets a woman named Sandra. And I would say Douglas has very good taste in this situation. They have an instant connection, but are saddened by the fact that they can't be together because Douglas will be up in space for 40 years. And even though he won't age hardly at all, Sandra will be 40 years older when he comes back. And I have to say there was great chemistry between the leads here and excellent acting. So, Douglas does uh, return to Earth 40 years later, and everything he learned was knowledge already gained, it turned out, but at least Sandra decided to put herself in suspended animation, and she is still young. However, Douglas had a communications failure and disabled his suspended animation, so he is now an elderly gentleman much older than Sandra. So, eventually they see each other, and I gotta say, this just destroyed me. This really affected me. It's so sad. Douglas has been lonely for 40 years, and eventually he lets go of Sandra, telling her to start over without him. So Douglas lets Sandra go, which really shows that he does love her. I just have to say, I was just deeply moved by this episode. When it ended, it really affected me. Like I've said before, I think I'm getting more sentimental as I get older. It's one of those cases where someone just gives everything up in the name of uh, science, exploration, however you want to look at it, and the relationship just wasn't meant to be, I guess. I cared about both characters and was really invested in the story in this episode. It's a bit different for Twilight Zone because it's kind of a combination of a sci-fi and a love story, but I thought Serling's script and the actors really pulled it off wonderfully. So overall, I think The Long Morrow is yet another underrated and underappreciated Season 5 episode, and that's why it's number 30 on the list. As always, feel free to let me know what you thought of this episode, The Long Morrow, if you liked it or not. Thanks very much for your support, and thanks for watching.